Azure Data Studio is a fantastic alternative to the sometimes clunky SQL Server Management Studio. Well, let's mash on that. Hi, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the ASP.NET Monsters. In today's episode, we're going to take a look at Azure Data Studio. Indeed, and we're going to try not to make it just a rant on SQL Server Management Studio, but we, I think we should have do to a start episode there. that is just that. <laughs> just just S S M S rant show. Yeah. Yeah. So this is this is interesting because there's a couple of things right away that we can deduce from the title. It says Azure, it says Data, and it says Studio. So mm -hmm. it, it's it's good at all those things. It it is actually a little bit weird that there's no SQL Server like directly in there, and that makes it a little bit less discoverable in terms of what's the tool that I should use for doing my SQL development things. Uh, now, I've been using this tool for a little while. It's it's basically, if you look at it here, it looks a lot like Visual Studio Code, right? They're using the same shell and everything is, is Visual Studio Code, uh, but it's for doing SQL-y things or data things. And there's a lot of different pieces to this application that I don't use. There's things like notebooks and source code integration. And uh, what I noticed recently is that there's these extensions, uh, just like with Visual Studio Code. And there are some really good extensions in there that kind of add some features to it that allow me to use SQL Server Management Studio even less than I was using it. So previously, I was mostly just using it to you know connect to a local SQL Server instance. I usually use local DB and write some queries and just like test out my queries kind of thing. Uh, but there's there's a few more features in here than than there used to be. One of those is that you can actually go and do like I don't know if this was there originally, but I have a few databases in here as you can see. Uh, the one I'm interested in today is this holidays one. You can do backup and restore. And one of the things that James will like with those is that it doesn't default to tape backups as the, the default option. <laughs> because it is. I mean, it is 2020. Yeah. I mean. It's not the best year, but at least we're not doing our backups on tape most of the time. That's so, all I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, but the thing that I wanted to talk about today is I noticed when I launched this the other day, it recommended that I install a specific extension, and that was the admin pack for SQL Server. And this actually adds a bunch of features that I didn't know that you could use Azure Data Studio for. So things like server agent, if you're doing scheduled jobs and want to manage those, that was one of the things previously that I had to go to Management Studio to do. And SQL Profiler. There's also, so this is just a set of extensions that it installs as part of the pack. Uh, there's also server import that lets you do uh, Azure import, or oh, what is it here? Doing like the imports into Azure SQL kind of thing. And the DAC pack stuff for importing and exporting from databases. So these are all things that previously I didn't know you could do in this application. Uh, and the one I was going to show today is the SQL profiler. So if I wanted to go and profile things for this specific database, I would just uh, create a connection to it. Actually, I forget how to do it. Launch profiler. So you do command control shift P to launch the command panel here and you say launch profiler or just alt P for the shortcut. And you tell it which, uh, there's two different session templates. I just do the standard one, click start and it should start profiling that database for me. I think you actually started two new profiler sessions. There might be a bug, so I think it. That's yeah. why it was. Yeah. Don't save. How many can I start at once? All of them. So, let's just start that again. I'm just going to do a new query on here just to make sure that this thing is working. Holidays, I believe, were my tables. What was my table? No, public holidays. So you do get. Autocomplete and everything in here, which is nice. Um, okay, so I'm going to do a Alt P. I saw that. <laughs> you missed those episodes, yeah. You were featured in there. So now, in theory, I should be able to uh, run my application here that connects this database, and I should see the connections and um, 
any SQL commands that are being executed against it. Here's my app running. A whole bunch of stuff that happened, and as part of that, I should see the actual commands that were executed. So those would be the, there's always so many of these. Oh, details, no. As I fumble around, select one, select one. There's a lot of stuff that happens when you open a connection, there it is. So here it's selecting from public holidays. So I can actually see what my application is doing now, all the connections that it's opening and the queries that it's running, including the parameters, which is nice. So I can see exactly the query that was executed from my application. And there's the ability to filter in here all the all the features that you would have in the, the normal SQL profiler. There's a few different views in terms of they have a standard view, T-SQL tuning view, some different things to play with there. Uh, but just a much lighter weight experience in terms of profiling, a lot easier to get uh, up and running. And um, one of my favorite features of this versus Management Studio is that it actually scales properly to a uh, high DPI device. That's no Windows. Yeah, I no Windows 3, role. one dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is the part where we start ranting. Um, other other extension that I've been using lately because I have another project where I'm doing uh, PostgreSQL. I, there's actually a extension there so that I can connect to that type of database too. So it's not limited to just SQL Server or at just Azure. Yeah, it feels like there's a lot more power kind of hidden behind the scenes here that we've yet to uncover. Mm -hmm. That whole notebooks area looks interesting to me. Yeah, it does. Um, I, that's on my list of something I want to learn a bit more about does look really interesting. That's all I had for today. Uh, take a look awesome. at Azure Data Studio. That sounds good. I'm going to go and install that right away here. Well, thank you very much for sharing. And for those of you out there in internet land, remember to like, comment, and share. Uh, and let us know your experience with this Azure Data Studio, because we're curious to see if it can replace the management studio completely. And by the way, this is what Simon does when he's on vacation. So <laughs> <laughs> thanks for joining us on your vacation day, Simon. No problem. Okay. This, this, is cheers. Fun. this is fun. Bye. <laughs> Bye.